Hey, this is Tyler Costa with PGC Basketball, and today we're going to talk about the key ingredient to team success, especially at the next level. As many of you want to play and coach at the college level, you got to understand, when I'm in conversations with Division I coaches, I ask them questions all the time. And one of my most common questions is, what is it that you have to teach players the most? When they come into college from high school, what do you have to teach them the most? And coach after coach says the same thing. We have to teach them how to talk. There are three key things that college coaches, championship programs know that lower level players and coaches don't yet understand. And that is the value of communication in three specific ways. Here's the first one. Energy and effort follow the sound of your voice. As you move up levels of play, more energy, more effort, more hustle, more intensity is required. And one of the ways to get that energy and effort is to raise your voice. Quiet feet are slow feet. Loud feet are fast feet. So one of the ways to kind of trick yourself into creating more activity on the floor is to just start with the sound of your voice. Watch and listen how Duke's energy follows the sound of their voices. Once we get in the gym, all you hear in the gym, need a chest, need a chest. Let's go, Duke. Let's go, dude. There we go. Like, dang, this is just stretching. So when we start getting into it, everybody's talking to each other. I, I love that energy. Catch strong, talk loud, and play hard. Okay. Sure. All right, here we go. Now here's the second key. Many players come in to college basketball having been one of the best players in their area, on their team, in their region, in their state. And they've done that as the strong, silent type. It's uncomfortable for many young players to start to actually say things because they're afraid they might look foolish or they're afraid that they might look uncool. But you gotta understand in order to communicate, the best teams zoom out. Most players are naturally zoomed in. They have a narrow internal focus. How am I shooting? How am I playing? How am I performing? How do I feel? And it's impossible to be a vocal leader and a vocal contributor when you're zoomed in. Rather, get a broad and external focus. When you are zoomed out, you want to contribute with your voice. You want to contribute with your communication. Let's listen to soon-to-be lottery pick Cam Reddish and his Duke teammates talk about the importance of zooming out. Something that I didn't do when I came in here uh, was talk. Like I was on the court very quiet, didn't open my mouth, and I struggled. Um, and because I was within myself, Coach always talks about being outside of yourself. At Duke, we're here, we're together, we're strong, we're united, we talk to one another. And that's sort of what being a Duke basketball player means. Come on, Cam! Chris is like, Cam, I'm like, yeah, he's like, you gotta start talking. I'm like, all right, whatever, right? He's like, seriously, bro, you gotta talk. So I just started saying stuff little by little, and now it's kind of, I'm getting, I'm getting used to it. You good, bro? You good, bro? You good? Guarding the ball, you are talking to the ball. And here's the third thing that college coaches have to teach high schoolers, is that basketball is jazz. One of, uh, the, one of the people that I respect a ton in the game, David Thorpe, wrote a book titled Basketball is Jazz. And if you know anything about jazz, jazz doesn't have a script. Jazz isn't a predetermined sheet of music. Jazz is a free flowing and often creative process where the players play off each other, react to what one, other, one another are doing. Basketball is the exact same way. All plays break down, defensive, offensively, it's dynamic, it's player controlled. And without communication, you get discordant rhythms. You get people working against each other and not in unison. But when you communicate, that is when you can build a beautiful game. Basketball is jazz. Hopefully you zoom out, understand energy, follows the sound of your feet, and play a beautiful game as basketball is jazz once you commit to communication.
the talk then that you hear is kind of the music that your team should feel. You know, for a team, the music has got to be their, their voices. This is Tyler's PGC Basketball. If you want to learn how to communicate like a next level player, come see us at our point guard college course this summer and learn to think the game.